Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. I am so excited about the project I'm going to show you guys here today. It involves Iron Orchid Designs paint inlays, DIY paint in a blended finish, and some really pretty waxes. So let's get started. As you can see, the top of this little sofa table had quite a bit of damage, so I knew I was going to need to sand down the top. I did the first sanding with an 80 grit pad, followed by a 180 grit, and then finished with the 220 grit. So I got the sanding finish, and I'm seeing these greasy spots. Looks like someone tried to already fill some spots there with filler but I don't really know what this is what was spilt on it so I'm not going to take any chances I'm going to go ahead and use insert shellac put a couple coats on it so that it won't pop back up through my paint I could go ahead and just try to paint this first but it may come up through the paint and I don't want to waste paint so we're gonna go with that I'm also going to take some iron orchid designs clay um, you could also use um, wood filler wood putty but this works really well and i'm going to fill in just a couple of these gaps that are are opened up they aren't too big but this clay should do the trick hit it with a little bit of sandpaper after that's dried a bit and I'll be able to paint over that. I gave it a quick wipe down just to get all the sanding dust off and then I painted the entire table with a coat of DIY Paint's little black dress. DIY paint is an all-natural clay-based paint. On that second coat, especially when I'm doing tops of tables, I like to use long, even strokes for a smooth finish. After the little black dress layer had dried, it was time to start the blending. I chose several shades of blue, including Bohemian Blue, Skeleton Key, and Prom Queen. I loaded up my Paint Pixie Little D brush with just a variation of these different colors, as you can see and started my first coat of the blending. When I'm blending, I spray on water with a mist bottle, as you can see there, and I use a very light hand with the brush so as not to pull up that first layer of paint. If you feel like your blending project is too streaky, you can use a dry paintbrush to lightly continue blending. I was happy with the finish of this, so I left it like that, but I have used a dry brush in the past to help blend in some of the spots that look just a little too streaky. When it dried, it looked like this with its chalky finish, but when we put the wax on, this will come back to its beautiful, vibrant blue. This is the Iron Orchid Designs paint inlay called Paradise. This will be going on to the top of the table. The inlays have actual artist quality pigments. They are not a decal or a transfer or decoupage. The pigment in the paint inlay embeds directly into the paint or sealer. I thought the color of the birds looked a lot like the DIY paint color Old 57, so I decided to use that color to add a few more blended highlights on the table.
Here I took some of the darkest blue that I had used in the blending, which was Bohemian Blue. I gave a light touch to some of the high spots and just a few areas of the table just to give a little more variation and depth. It was time to start the paint inlay. The paint inlays come in eight sheets. They are made to fit together. You will see on the outer edge of the sheets, there's a little bit of salvage edge without any of the print on it. Be sure to trim those off so your images fit well together. These sheets come with grid lines, which make it easy to cut and trim to the size that you need. Just really take your time on this part to make straight cuts and measure out so you know that your sheets are going to completely cover the entire surface you're working on. The paint inlays embed into wet paint, so I put another coat of the little black dress onto the surface of the sofa table. I didn't use too much. You have to have enough that the inlay will stick, but don't use too much paint that it's so thick. I tried that on my first paint inlay project and the inlay didn't embed quite as well as I would like. Slowly and carefully lined up my sheet and then made contact with the table and started to smooth down the edges. If you have to do that and pull up just a little to realign, make sure you do it very quickly after laying that down because this paint will start to embed almost immediately into your project. I used my mister bottle and sprayed down the paper to start activating the pigment into the paint. Then used the brayer from Iron Orca Designs to roll out some of the wrinkles. I wasn't worried about getting all the wrinkles out. When you see how this turns out at the end, leaving some of those wrinkles in will actually make that surface have a really neat texture, almost like a leather. When working with these bigger sheets of the paint inlay, I found it easier to fold them back over so that the sheet didn't fall into the wet paint on the back side. So folding it over made it a little easier. I was very careful in this step to take my time and align the sheet so that it matched its image on the other side. It's kind of like a puzzle. The clay-based chalk paint dries very quickly, so I had to reapply a little bit. I repeated the process across the whole tabletop and then allowed the paint and lay to dry for about two hours. After it was dry, I put a light mist from my Water Girl mist bottle onto the sheet and got ready for pulling off the paper. I love this part, it's so pretty. If it feels like your paper is getting stuck or is too hard to pull, just stop at that point and use a little more water on top of the paper. Another tip, be sure to save the sheets that you pull off of your project. You can reuse the paint and lays two or three times. Keep in mind that the second and third uses, they will be a little more faded and distressed looking and it will have some of the background color on the inlay in this case, black. Here's an example of using the paint inlay a second time. I took the inlay I used on the tabletop and applied it to this wooden tray using Big Top as the medium to embed the inlay into. I love the way it turned out. Here I'm just touching up some of the edge of the table using the little black dress paint. To purchase the products I'm using in today's video, you can visit my website, mamabearblue.com. I'll also put the links to each individual product in the description box below. It was now time to seal the inlay, so I used a 50-50 mix of DIY's Big Top Sealer with water and put it into a mist bottle. 
and lightly misted the top of the table. I let it dry and repeated that a second time. That was drying, I took some time to wet distress some of the areas of the body of the table. Just took a wet rag and gently wiped some areas so that it would show down to the different layers of paint and in some spots all the way down to the wood. When the top was completely dry, I took a 220 grit sanding pad and just very lightly sanded the top. You don't have to do this step, but I wanted the paint and lay to look slightly vintage and distressed. And this is a really good shot where you guys can see how the top kind of looks like leather, where the wrinkles in the paper caused that texture in the paint. I used DIY Paints Clear Wax to wax the entire table. Show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with the place to lean. In the moment I hung that spoon, the other ring of my wrist is gold. With the light. I used a soft cloth to wipe off any of the excess wax. To add a little shine and dimension to the project, I took the Golden Rule wax from DIY and applied just a bit in different areas of the table. Here I'm just using my finger as I often do, but you could definitely just use a small stencil brush. Be sure to watch to the end for the final reveal. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to learn some of the basics of using Iron Orchid Designs paint inlays as well as DIY paint for a blended finish. If you want to try a project like this yourself, you can head over to mamabearblue.com for the supplies. Be sure to give a thumbs up and comment below. Consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. I had a great time making over this little sofa table with the paint inlay and blended paint finish. I hope you... <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Leave your comments and questions below. I'll be sure to answer those.